Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wendy Myers. Welcome to the Myers Detox Podcast. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how I reduce back pain and I'm fixing my posture. I have my friend Eileen Durfee on the show, and she's amazing. She, I love her brain. She's a nuclear engineer, and she's designed this system that helps to you know replace that S curve or restore that S curve in your back. And that fixes your back pain. It, it you know puts your your spine back to the shape it's supposed to be in. And this also fixes your posture. I think so many of us are kind of like hunched over, you know, looking at our phones on our computers. And it's not enough to just put your shoulders back. You actually have to fix the curve in your back and strengthen specific muscles in your spine. And so Eileen talks about how to do this. And, and all of the different benefits. And she goes over her, her back shaper system and her neck shaper system. And this is something that I'm using every single day. I am absolutely obsessed uh, with this back shaper system. It's amazing. And I highly recommend it to everyone. So if you have back pain or you're worried about fixing your posture uh, for you or your loved ones, so stay tuned to the show. It's really, really, really good. Um, so I know you guys listening to this show, you're concerned about toxins, your body burden of toxins and how to reduce them to restore your energy and to, you know, you know, reverse the clock on aging and, and all the many benefits of detoxification. So I created a quiz that where you can get an idea of your body burden of toxins. You can take the quiz at heavymetalsquiz.com only takes a couple of minutes and you get a free video series after you take it. So our guest today, Eileen Durfee, she's a former nuclear engineer, auditor, trainer, land developer, home builder, and inventor with 10 patents. And she's a CEO and founder of creatrixsolutions.com. She's also an innovative health specialist and expert in spine health, reducing pain and improving overall wellness and increasing athleticism. She works with a lot of professional athletes. Eileen became sick due to chemical exposure, um, endured injuries and had poor posture from growing nine inches in three months when she was a kid and then being run over by a car. So on a quest to heal her body, she discovered what solutions worked and wanted to use her knowledge and experience to help others. Eileen's mission is to revolutionize the physical fitness and wellness industries to give everyone that S-shaped spine so that people can avoid injuries and surgeries and live longer, solving America's $100 billion a year low back pain problem. And you can learn more about Eileen and her amazing products at creatrixsolutions.com. Eileen, thank you so much for joining the show. Oh, you're welcome. And thanks for having me. It was nice seeing you in Mexico. Yes, you came to visit me here in Playa del Carmen. It was amazing because you came over and you did a whole session with me showing me how to use your back shaper um, kind of toolkit. And it has been such a game changer for me because I one thing I've been wanting to focus on is changing my posture and improving my posture. And I've dealt with a lot of you know, hypermobility in my, my lower back and my hips and, and back, lower back pain, and just lots of, just lots of stuff going on that has really plagued me and preventing me from, you know, the workouts I wanted to do and whatever. And, you know, I'm getting older. I feel like, like the hunched over sometimes, and I've just, I've been wanting to fix these things. And I just feel, honestly, I feel so hopeful and so excited to have a solution in this kind of this protocol that you've developed in finding a solution, like a long-term solution. Cause it's not enough to just like stand up, to just sit up straight and put your, your shoulders back. And it, that, that's just not enough. Cause if that worked, that that's what everybody would be doing. Um, so why don't you talk a little bit about um, this, like this back shape or I mean, kind of protocol that you developed and, and why you developed it? The main thing is we live in gravity and we can't change where our muscles attach to bones. And so when we experience tight muscles, you know, we definitely need to be thinking posture, but there really haven't been many solutions. And after I was run over by a car 
and I met Dr. Sherger, one of the things that he had me do was lay over some towels that were folded with a groove in them. And it was amazing how much those helped me. And as the years went on, because that was like, what, in 1978, 79, when that happened, and, you know, working with Dr. Sugar up until his death in 2016, we wanted to have something that would help the body as gravity let go when you're laying down let the muscles relax to be able to kind of like guide bodes into a better location. Because once gravity is not tightening everything down and the muscles release, the body can do some amazing things. So I came up with rolls in five different diameters. You can kind of see in the picture here, the different diameters and the difference between each one of those rolls is only a quarter of an inch, which really doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot with different densities because everyone has a different degree of muscle tension or pain or posture abnormalities. So with the rolls, with the groove, we're able to lay down, and as a lot of the chiropractors that I work with now, they say, I lean. It's segmental traction using your own body weight. So they're saying it's like a genius because it lets the body adapt. So that was the main reason why the rolls, because a lot of people can't even start with the more advanced spinal fitness exercises. And one, one example is there's a lady that um, is here locally in town and she had such neck pain that the doctors took electrical instruments and deadened her nerves ability to send that message to the brain. So she wouldn't experience pain anymore. And she was still having severe low back pain. And she was going downstairs, hanging onto a handrail, with two feet on one step, just edging down. And she was so bad that I had to have her start out the softest, the smallest diameter rolls to lay down. And I said, you know, maybe only five minutes to start with, just baby steps. Three days later, this woman runs up and down 13 steps of stairs and has no pain just from laying over these rolls. It's it, so simple because all you do is lay down on them. That's all you do. You have one on your neck and one on your lower back and you just you just lay down on them. They reshape your your back essentially. To, and it's amazing. It's abs I love it. Part of the exercise, you know, and it really depends where someone should start. Because some people are in so much pain, they can't even do like a twist, mm -hmm. you know, because because our discs between our vertebrae as we're older are like a dried out kitchen sponge. And what we want is we want them hydrated. We don't want them to be more like a gel so that our vertebrae can actually flex, you know, and move in a good way. So that's why we have people do the twist before laying down on the rolls. And then the goal is to work up to 20 minutes laying down because then your muscles completely let go. You, and it's a weird phenomenon. You will literally hear your bones crack as you're laying there. But then at the end of the session, after 20 minutes, that disc reforms itself. It, it goes back to that sponge state but that's after your vertebrae have actually moved. And then we systematically increase the diameter and the density of the rolls to restore the curvature. So it takes, you know, a while and people need to be patient. There's a MMA fighter that I work with. He sent me his x-rays. And when I was doing the FaceTime with him, he could not even use the smallest diameter, softest roll on his low back. So I said, okay, take a hand towel, fold it, 
you know, and kind of roll it. So you just have a little tiny lump there. And some people, that's where they start. And after 10 days, he texts me back and says, I'm 200% better. You've changed my life. I can now lay over the actual rolls for 15 minutes. And so as long as people are willing to go really slow with this, it's amazing what it can do for the spine. Yeah. And you work with a lot of professional athletes. I mean, you work with like NFL athletes and baseball athletes and like professional athletes are seeking out your counsel to improve their posture and improve their performance. Yes. Now, besides the roles, you know, we have the, the neck shaper where you can do, you know, a neck flexion, but we have other equipment that's not for sale yet. That's part of this where We do a sit-up, we do a pelvic tilt, and literally with athletes, there's a video on the YouTube channel with Jacob Johnson, the fullback from the Las Vegas Raiders. I just have him hinge at the hips to bend over because most everyone standing up, not running, has tight hamstrings. But hamstrings are not meant to hold your body erect. They're only to be used for motion, running, jumping, hitting, launching. So when you have tight hamstrings, you know your posture is bad. So he starts out, bends over. He's like 11 inches from the ground and he's uneven. One side, he can reach a little bit farther than the other. I have him turn his neck and I just have him do four of the five movements, only 10 repetitions. So in less than 10 minutes, this guy's hamstrings are completely loose He can reach and bend over nine inches more than he could before and turn his head. And so these athletes are amazed because it causes them to run faster because when you have tight hamstrings, it shortens your stride length. So you're not going to be able to jump as high, run as fast because the body has this hierarchy. We always talk about this. The body's so intelligent. And when our... short pastoral muscles fail. The body grabs the muscles meant for movement to help out with that job. So when you do go to move, it will not let you have that fast much muscle twitch recruitment fibers to do the job because it's trying to hold you erect. With yeah, that those hamstrings pull the lower back out of whack also. That's why like it's pulling on one side and your hips are out of whack and your lower back muscles start hurting. And I think that's like this, that those mechanics people don't understand. Right. So it's really critical uh, to have the S-shaped spine. There's a lot of um, functional trainers now. You see them on Instagram, the stories where somebody will have an excessive lordotic curve in the low back and they'll have a forward head posture and they're in a lot of pain. So what they don't do is restore the neck curvature. They flatten out the low back. So they're more of a straight spine. So the person's in less pain, but that is still not the ideal posture. And so why do so many people have a different mindset as far as what good posture is? You know, I see a lot of um, things on the internet where it says, oh, if your head is this far forward, you have X amount of pounds, you know, on the head and everything like that. And the only study that went through every vertebrae and calculated shear forces and pounds of compression was done by Dr. Sugar, you know, and his team. And before that, it was just Leonardo da Vinci and Borelli. And so since Dr. Sugar died, my writings have been rewriting his information. I've hired a medical illustrator to be able to see the difference between ideal posture, what we want to have, and then, you know, different shapes of posture. And so it's definitely, if if you search benefits of the S-shaped spine on Google, you're going to see Mount Sinai Hospital come up and they're going to talk about how that's great because it causes the spine to be like a shock absorber. There's so many people out there that have been told that they have degenerative disc disease. 
So what is degenerative disc disease? It's when you lack that S-shaped spine and you just have more compression transferring from vertebrae to vertebrae and you're squishing the spinal disc. And so it takes 18 years from birth to adulthood to, you know, form the bones, the right size, the density, the uh, spinal discs, and then your body stops supplying the nutrients to it, counting on the fact that you've developed this S-shaped spine. And then when you walk and you move, there's this pumping action where it hydrates your discs and it brings weight products out, nutrients in, but also at that angle when Dr. Sugar and his team, um, even the National Strength and Conditioning uh, Association went through the math on this, so it's validated it's correct, that there's less direct compression you know, on the disc. So we know, and some of the writings that I have now on the website are proving that the S-shaped spine is best, but nobody can tell you how to do it. There's a few references to doing a standing pelvic tilt, supposedly to put the low back curve in. And so this is like a whole new education, spinal fitness, the things you can do to restore the curves, which reduces nerves being pinched. Uh, and, and the other thing, even if we're, you know, we're both into nutrition and health, and we're, we all know about energy production in the body. So one of the most important things that we can do is stop spending energy. The body, to tighten those muscles, like for example, good posture, standing up at the, the lumbar, L2, L3, there's the interspinalis muscle right here. So when you have good posture, that's efferdine at like 25 pounds per second. But if you have a little bit of a flat low back and the head's like three and a half inches further, that goes to 200 pounds per second. And then the compression from good posture is 125 pounds. It goes to 300. So you can imagine how much energy the body is spending. And that's why when people have any kind of tight muscles or back pain, you don't feel so drained, how drained you feel. It's just like you just, you know, can't live a fulfilling life. Yeah. And it's so many people are dealing with back pain and they, they go to their doctor and they're literally given no solution whatsoever, except for some sleeping pills or and or pain medications and things like that, as no hope of ever address, addressing the root cause. And even going to the chiropractor is, well, great. I love my chiropractor and I get adjustments. Um, you know, people don't have the time or the money to be doing that every single week, or I used to go a couple of times a week um, because I was constantly getting out of alignment. And so, uh, so I love that you created this system to be able to do this at home. And you, you have this, uh, so you have like the rolls, you do, you do a roll in your neck and a roll in your lower back. And, and I just, I'm so crazy about this system. I love it so much because uh, it's just, it's helping me so much. So there's also this the backtrack. So you, you lay on this and you roll like, you know, like a foam roller, but it has this groove in it where you put your spine so that that just adjusts your spine. You just roll it on your back. Like you do a foam roller and it, it, it just adjusts your whole spine. It's amazing. I do this a couple of times a day. I don't have any more back pain. I don't have any more kind of like my back feeling weird when I'm walking or I'm working out because I can address it uh, so every single day on my own at home. So which density is your favorite now? Because we have the orange, which is a medium and the one that you're holding is a hard. Yeah. So this is the hard red one. So I use this on my back. Um, but when I'm doing the back shaper, I was using the orange, which is the softest, I believe. Well, the orange is the medium. The, the blue medium. is the soft. Okay, great. So I'm still on the blue. I think I went from the orange to the blue. 
<laughs> so I just I forgot which one was which. But I thought I, I thought I was graduating to the next one. Maybe I'll go back to the orange. But um I'm on the the 3.25 on my lower back. And then and I do I'm sorry, this is for my neck. And then I do the I think I do the three point three point two five for my lower back as well. But I'm gonna go back to the oh, orange. And then that... after that, you can go to the red, which is even more firm. You know. Right. And the laying surface really matters. Like if somebody's really more injured in pain, I recommend starting on laying like a soft bed or a massage table or a couch or something that has some give because you'll be able to get away with a larger diameter roll. And if you're in so much pain that the smallest rolls are hard for you, that that's a way to introduce them. And then you know, like you're doing the three, two, five. I don't know. Are you laying on the floor when you do those? Yeah, I have a really thick yoga mat, like a super thick yoga mat. And so it has a little bit of give, not much. Um, but yeah, I really want to like dig in there and get that traction and and get, uh, get my back fixed. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And the thing of it is, is that people need to be able to go slow and it depends on your activity. Let's say you were out doing yard work or, canoeing or something where you're paddling and doing a bunch of activities, the diameter of the roll that you need to use will change, you know, because the idea is when you lay over these, you want to be relaxed. So you get the muscle release. Cause if you're laying there and everything's so tight that you can't relax, then we're not going to get that, you know, movement that we need. So a person needs to realize, like I go through three different diameters for both both my low back and my neck at any given time, depending on my laying surface, what I've been doing. Uh, like, you know, I flew down to Mexico, was there and saw you. I was there for 10 days. I came back home for like four days and then I flew to Chicago and then I flew back. And with all the planes, you know, I'm tall, I'm six foot. It's like those chairs are meant for short people and just all the sitting. Um, so my back was out of whack and I, you know, wanted to go into my chiropractor. I go, okay, so I'm going to practice what I preach, you know? So I did the, the rotation and I laid down on the rolls and I literally fell asleep on them. And when I woke up, my whole spine had realigned itself. And, you know, cause I was, I have congenital issues from being born because my hips were twisted. So my fascia, you really, literally my dura squeezes the right side of my head And it just, you know, so I still have those issues that I fight with, but literally gravity, I mean, it just let go, everything went back into place. And so they're Mm -hmm. just such an amazing tool, you know, as long as people are willing to start uh, slow, because I've had these people that, you know, are pretty athletic going to the gym, you know, so they want to, of course, do the hard rolls or the medium (laughs) rolls right away, and they want to stay on there for the full 20 minutes. And I had this one gal where, you know, when I recommend to start with five minutes and she does 20 minutes because she's athletic, you know, so she's laying there and she feels like she can't even get up because the bones move and your muscles release. And so you kind of have to like roll on the side. So that's the thing about these rolls is people really should follow the directions, start very slow, and work up and be willing to go down a diameter, go down a density, because that's just part of the fluctuations that we go through. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It definitely opens you up, opens up your lower back, loosens things up. So it's not something you want to do like before you work out. And I realize that's not something I want to do before I go walking. It's just something I want to do after I work out or at the end of the day. And definitely I realized I could only do like 10 minutes to 10 minutes to start. And it, things are really kind of like loosey goosey and and open up and it can feel kind of unsteady, but it's part of this process. I think people are so tight and it really pulls their lower back and their hips out of place that they 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 have to create this space where they're able to uh, like, uh, do something like the back shaper and do something for their back to open it up, relax it, get it in the, get it in the right alignment. Cause if you don't do that, if you're not doing something for your back 
to correctly align it, no matter what it is you're doing, you're stretching, go to the chiropractor, you have to be doing something or at some point your back is not going to work how you want it. You know, like I had a slip disc and, um, I just, I've had like other stuff going on. I used to pop my back all the time just, uh, for, for fun. And so I created this hypermobility in my back and I just, every time I'd bend over, my back would hurt or I'd had to have really acute pain when I'd bend over because of that, that slip disc. And it was just really because I, I wasn't taking proper care of my, my back, even though I was going to the chiropractor. Um, so even with someone who's taking care of their back, you can still have back problems. But I think with this, I feel like I finally have found a solution to one, you know, permanently correct my back issues and correct my posture, which is like a, a big theme for me right now. Cause I think so many people are like bent over on their phones or bent over on their laptop. And they don't realize that over time, they've just become like hunched over and has a th- have like this hump on their back. And uh, for me, I'm really wanting to, I want to get straight again. Like when I met you in person, your posture was so straight. Your posture was unbelievable. And I was like, wow, like I, that is what I want. <laughs> I want to have this, this beautiful, elegant posture that's effortless. Cause I find that when I try to sit up straight, my back hurts. Cause I it's, it's the muscles are weak, but it's more than that. It's just, I don't have the right alignment to hold myself erect and straight for long periods of time. And that's always been my frustration. Yeah. People are so much in flexion, like you say, with electronics and everything, that our muscles are in balance. So the muscles on our anterior side of the body are tighter. So it is really hard. I remember I had terrible posture growing up, and I my parents would always tell me, put your shoulders back. But it real the shoulders weren't my problem, is my head was so far forward that my it was impossible for me to put my shoulders back. So these exercises are teaching us for our body to recognize where our head should be over our hips. And then it's that S that goes in between it that, you know, alleviates the tension and things like that. And posture is important because when you don't have that S-shaped spine and you experience tight muscles, then the nerve canals where these nerves come out are impinged. So even if you have the best nutrition in the world, your organs are not getting the signals that they need to be the healthiest. And then your body's so smart that it begins to help out the muscles on the back that are so tight. So it'll start calcifying the anterior side of the vertebrae. So that there's more support here. And that's where aging happens. We're all born as a C shape and it's the riddle of the Sphinx. What crawls on four, walks on two, then three, on three. So it's a baby, it's a human, then it's a man or, you know, an elderly person on a cane. And you know, what we don't want to do is to have natural fusion occurring, you know, on our vertebrae, getting the, you know, the spurs getting, you know, cause that's all going to impact our disc health. And then that of course affects our range of motion and our, and our movement and, you know, all increases pain. And so posture is so much more important than people realize because we co- become accustomed to all those tight muscles, you know, not so much the people in the health and wellness industry, but there's a lot of people that just constantly take ibuprofen for pain or muscle relaxers or are even, you know, using medical marijuana to, you know, reduce their pain. I think that's a lot better than being on hydrocodone, but still the effects of the accelerated aging, the disc degeneration, the aging from your your nervous system, not getting the signals to your organs, all that is because of posture. 
Yeah, exactly. And I found that when I was taking pain medication, that it would actually make my back worse because I couldn't feel my back and feel, you know, I would just take pain medication to just deaden those, those pain signals. And then I wasn't able to be as careful with my back and I'd hurt it even more. And it was just like this constant never ending cycle of never getting to the underlying root cause of why I had that back pain. I had years of physical physical therapy is incredibly expensive. Um, and so, and I, I, for me, I just, I get kind of like emotional about it because I had so much pain and so much uh, many years of being like overweight and not being able to do the workouts that I wanted to do. And all I wanted to do was go to yoga or go lift weights or something. Um, so I think for a lot of people out there, they're very, very frustrated looking for answers. And this is the answer. This doing the back shaper is the answer to back pain on a long-term basis. And it's, for me, it's a wonderful way where I end my day doing this. And I know that over time, because I just started doing this maybe three weeks ago, over time, I just, I'm so excited about getting the, you know, the, the shape of the posture that I'm looking for and, you know, then in long-term back health and, and back function as well. So for me, my goal is I want to stay mobile. I want to continue to do the workouts that I want to do. I don't want to get that hunched over. I don't want to have that osteoporosis look, you know, and um, I want to stay healthy for as long as possible. Um, And so you mentioned earlier the neck shaper and, and yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Because I think it's really important for people to hear that's a lot of their back problems stems from not having a strong erector spinae muscle, correct? And so tell yes. us what what that is and and how we can, you know, you know, work out that muscle. I can be in airport for a whole weekend going to and from, and it's like trying to find Waldo. Where's Waldo? Where's the person with the S-shaped spine? I can be gone a whole weekend, see thousands of people and only see three people with the S-shaped spine. It is totally epidemic. And so this neck, we need to strengthen the multifidus multifidus and the interspinalis muscles. We need to change our ergonomics. And as we begin doing this, your body starts remembering that position and you'll catch yourself. Like I'll be walking around and I'll be tired and I'll just go like this. And it's like, oh, this feels so much better. I'm actually to the point now where I've been really diligent this last year on my spinal exercises where, like you said, your posture was so good. Well, it's not always been that way, but now more than not, I am standing with, you know, good posture But with our head and the weight of our head and our neck, you know, when you nod at someone, that's C5. And this is all the exercise we want to do is strengthen those muscles. And so with the neck shape, or usually you do the standing, because if you stand up, we could have everybody stand up and then have the person next to them feel the low back muscles and they'll be tight. And then we can do this neck flexion exercise where we end in this position. Then you touch their low back muscles and they're all loose. So it's like a lot of people's low back pain, tight muscles is because it's their head, their neck. And so uh, chiropractors that I work with said, Eileen, this is not the neck shaper. It's a spine shaper because when you do this exercise, it will fix your low back and your neck. But it's a simple exercise. You just look up. Now, some people literally can't even look up without pain. So wherever that is without pain, that's where you start. But if you look up, then you put pressure. And it's not pushing your head forward. It's just that nodding. I'm going to agree with you. That's C5. So it's just like to chin down a little bit below level. Then you like totally relax everything. And then you just push your head back and your whole fine spine will flex and the head will go over the low back. And then those tight low back muscles that have been bothering the person just are completely loose. Then they're like going, oh my gosh, I didn't know that it was me like this all the time that was causing this. 
And so it's super simple. The protocol for this is keep this at your desk. Every time you get up to go to the bathroom, to get water or to eat, you stand up and do like five of those exercises. So less than 10 seconds throughout the day. I had a man had been on hydrocodone medicine for severe neck pain. He was scheduled for fusions, complete fusions, C1 through C7. He did this for two weeks. His pain completely disappeared and his doctor canceled the surgery. Now that, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. the kind of results we need. Yeah, I mean, I think anyone that's thinking about doing back surgery you want to do everything that you can to avoid that surgery um, because uh, while that can be necessary for some people, I think there's a lot of things that people can do um, that maybe they're not getting at their doctor. So, you know, if you go to a surgeon, they're going to tell you to do surgery. If you go to a chiropractor, they're going to adjust your back. You know, you have to look at who you're talking to. But I think a lot of people have unnecessary surgeries. They don't have relief of their pain. They don't get the results. They can have even more complications with nerves being uh, cut or losing feeling and numbness and really not have the results that they're looking for and still have their pain. So I think people need to do everything in their power, like the back shape for a neck shaper um, and explore other options, you know, before they're going under the knife. I've been in contact with Dr. Stefano and he has five spine surgery centers in Minnesota. And he indicated that for a spine surgeon, the success of a surgery, no matter what spine sur surgery it is, is dependent on the posture of the individual. So he is so excited about the equipment because of how quickly it promotes good posture. And unlike, you know, most people think, you know, like if you go to a, a the hospital and have any kind of surgery, you know, you, you, you pay the anesthesia, you pay the surgery center and all of that. And when it's all said and done, unless the doctor owns the surgery center, they're only for that surgery making less than a thousand dollars. So a doctor doesn't really make money from the surgeries and the good spine surgeons realize that unless you can do something to help with that posture, any surgery that they do isn't going to be that successful. And so this is something, even if someone can't avoid surgery, to be able to start doing something and the roles are like a passive maintenance. You know, if you have to start with a soft towel, like that MMA fighter I work with that couldn't even lay down, you know, that, that he was so flat and so tight and so injured, you know, there's a starting point. But then if you're patient and you take time, just like you said, the best time to do it is at the end of the day. Now, if there's, if there's athletes involved, after a game, also because of, you know, the motion injuries and, you know, the, the things that can happen to them. But yeah, posture is so critical. And, you know, you really feel more energized, too. You know, I don't know if you've noticed that since you've been using, you know, the roles, how your energy has, you know, been impacted. Yeah. I mean, I just feel amazing after I do, after I, when I'm doing it and after I do it, I just feel like it just feels so right where I just feel like I'm melting into the rolls and you do have that, that increase of energy going up and down your spine because it's more aligned. It's more like in alignment and you're getting that S curve going. I feel so good. And, you know, when you take them out, you know, you're a little bit tender and you just sit there and you, you know, breathe and, and relax into it and let your muscles kind of, you know, go back to, to normal, you know, after they're being stretched out. Um, but yeah, it just feels so good. It's such a, it's a great way to end your day. So I also use them with lifting weights because I'm a big proponent, especially with being 60 years old now, maintaining my muscle mass is so important for me. And historically, my whole life, I was like you, where I'd be hyper, you know, 
mobility and my back would be going out and I'd have to be very careful when I lifted weights. And so what I do now is I use those blood flow constriction bands so that, you know, my body will carry blood to the muscles and that it will stay there. So I can use a lot lighter weights, which is easier on my joints, but then I can get the, the muscle definition going, but also I've been doing some experiences. I have a hack squat is one of the things that Dr. Sugar taught me is about what exercises to do and not to do. Because if you're exercising your biceps, for instance, if you're standing up with dumbbells and doing a curl, you're actually using a lot of your low back muscles. And so he said, don't do that. You know, just body muscle overload training to make muscles does not make a strong joint. And if you're stressing and reducing your low back curve, you need to change the type of exercise you're doing. So he said, sit down and do a preacher curl. So so the, the tension off the low back is removed. And likewise, when I do a bench press, I have a roll under my neck and my low back. I, I've I seen it. videos of you doing that. And that makes so much sense to have your back in the proper curb and building muscles in the shape that your back is supposed to be. And I'm like, that just makes so much sense. Cause I'm a weightlifter too. I lift weights three, four times a week when I'm not injured. Um, and, uh, is that, that just makes total sense to your, you want to form, build the muscles in the form that they're supposed to be in. Well, I've got a injury um, from my on my right shoulder when I was building a cabin, debarking logs for with a draw knife for hours. And my the tendon that goes from my bicep into my chest went out of the groove. And it's just like this shoulder still is like sensitive to that. And when I'm in a bench press, I compensate. So I'm pulling more on one side than the other. But when I have the right neck roll underneath me, I can't compensate. So, and then when I do the blood flow restriction bands, I'm still getting a workout where my form, I'm concentrating perfectly on my form and my spine is braced. And then on my hack squat, I tried something because, you know, like you're on a three, two, five roller, you know, that's like what I'm on as well. And I had one of the larger rollers in the garage and, and I'm on the hack squat, you know, was using the standard roller that I always do and had my weight on there and, you know, going down as far as I could. Then I switched on. And I go, I wonder what's going to happen if I do the bigger roller. So I put the bigger roller underneath my low back. So, you know, I'm supported and I'm not there like, laying down trying to relax but it's just really making my low back curve the ideal shape and i could go down squat deeper do more weight and my knees didn't feel the tension on him i was so blown away that i switched the roller back to the smaller one and i lost all those gains instantly and i switched rollers again and i got the gains so it's like oh my gosh the depth of squat the shape of the spine, getting the tension off the knees. It, it just, I'm just so amazed at how you can use these even during your regular workout. I'm actually going to start doing that. I was trying to kind of get my back in a little bit better shape, so to speak, uh, before I started doing that. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to start incorporating the rolls into my my workouts when, whenever I can. And so how long does it take to, to change your posture? Like when you start using these, uh, using the back shapers, like how long does it take? Well, just like you, you're going to notice results right away. But to have like lasting change to where you know, you're going to notice it's more comfortable for you to have this nice posture like you saw me in. You know, if you do this three to five days a week for eight to 12 weeks, you're going to be transformed. Now, each person's different, like the lady that could barely walk down the stairs, you know, she's just doing baby steps with, you know, maybe 10 minutes over the rolls. It'll be a while before she's in the gym lifting weights or doing our specialized sit up or, you know, things like that. Each person is different. And I do spend time with people. If they 
you know, want a consultation and I'm going to start, you know, like a, a Facebook group so I could get on there once a week. And then, you know, we can all, you know, talk with each other and, you know, answer questions and I can help coach people. Um, I'm coming out with a book and a whole certification protocol with more detailed videos. I have uh, uh, some videos and I'm going to create more. Fantastic. Yeah. I think this is like, you know, you, you're an expert on detoxification and, and you're a nuclear engineer and you've, you know, re-engineered so many different detox products. And so when you told me about this and, and I mean, just the fact that me personally and so many millions of people deal with lower back pain and just back pain in general, neck pain. Uh, this is just, I just love that you put your, your brain to re-engineering these, these back products the, and creating the back shaper because it, it's so needed. And I think, and even children can use this. I want to start using this yes. with my daughter so that she kind of will prevent some of the, you know, the back injuries that, that she could potentially have and, uh, and reshaping her back. And, uh, and just, I think that these are just amazing. It's just an amazing tool for people to be able to maintain their health, maintain their mobility and maintain their ability to exercise in the way that they want as they age. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, this fits my five-year-old grandson and it fits some of the biggest heads because as long as you're, you know, catching the chin and the forehead. So this is just the right size and the rolls, uh, we sell them in complete kits with all the density for a little bit less money. And the starting point that I recommend a person to get is at least the complete set of the soft rolls. Because like I, I use three different diameters, you know, for different things. You know, I use a different one when I'm supporting my head, sitting in my lazy boy chair. I use a different one in my car. You know, I use a different one when I'm on my exercise equipment versus you know, just laying over the rolls. But these things with children, um, remember, this is missing from childhood development standards. We measure all kinds of things with children, but we never measure spinal development. And we're having children do exercises that destroy the ability to get the S-shaped spine. So any parents out there that have children, the sit up is very damaging to the body. And there's a way to do a sit up that isn't. But when you sit up, these facet bones no longer lock on each other and it's posterior shear and you can have some dislocation, but it will flatten out the low back curve, which you don't want. So there's a free download guide on my website how you can actually take a sleeping bag with duct tape to make this roll because the exercise balls are the wrong diameter, you know, so it won't induce a low back curve, but you need to be doing a sit up over this fulcrum. And so then gently as children age and we let them use the rolls, we teach them to do the neck shaper and they start doing a sit up over a roll, then they develop that S-shaped spine. It's like you look at every Olympic athlete, look at their curve of their spine. It's no secret why they're good at sports is because they got the spine. So that's what we need to do for our children is we need to take things into our own hands and make sure that our children develop the correct posture. And it's so bad today with, you know, all of our electronics. And so if you don't do something for your spine, uh, Dr. Sugar said, you know, you brush and floss the teeth you want to keep. So what you got to do is you got to do your neck flexion, your pelvic tilt and your sit up and use the rolls to get that S-shaped spine or to keep it because gravity just has such an impact on us. Um, our work environment, our repetitive motions. It's like eating candy and going to bed without flushing and brushing our teeth. So like I said, what did I say how to use this? 
just use it when you get up to go to the bathroom, get something to drink or eat and only five reps. So like, do you have 10 seconds several times a day? That could mean the whole difference of you having headaches or tight muscles down the arms or having low back pain. So we we do have something now that we can do ourselves in our own homes and help our families. Uh, yeah, so I I absolutely absolutely love this. I I use it myself. I highly recommend people doing it, uh, especially if you have low back pain or you just want to you know or you have a family member that has pain and you want to you know retain your mobility and, and or you're an athlete and you want to improve your game, improve your performance. You want to check this out. So Eileen, where can we get the the back shaper kit and uh, the neck shaper as well? at creatrixsolutions.com, or it might be easier to type in spinalfitness.com, or I'm sure you're going to have a link for the viewers uh, in this episode where they can go to, and you can buy a sizing kit. If you just want to buy your one neck roll and your one low back roll, I do recommend just getting a complete kit because you will use them. You know, and especially if it's more than just you and you have a, you know, a a spouse or significant other or children that they'll just, you know, be used. Yeah, I recommend the kit, the whole kit too, with all the different sizes and and firmnesses, because, you know, I, because I'm constantly like using different firmnesses and, you know, and you're going to want, you're going to start graduating up to more firmness as your back gets in better shape, you know, over the next couple of months. So I just, I just don't see like how I would really, you know, get the most out of the system if I didn't have all of them. And I'm also, I'm traveling this summer. I'm going to go to Japan and Seoul, Korea and Thailand and Indonesia, and I'm bringing these with me. (laughs) Like, I guess I started using it. I'm like, I don't, how am I going to function if I don't, if I'm not able to roll out my back and do the the back shaper because I'm going to be walking all the time and doing all kinds of things. So like I, I have to bring it with me. Like I can't live without it. <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend's going to think I'm nuts, but I don't care because I don't want to have any back pain or any back problems when I'm on my trip. Yes. It's, it's just amazing. It's, it's changed my life. Uh, And that's my biggest passion out of everything that I've invented or created. This is my biggest passion because of all the pain and suffering that I've, you know, gone through. I grew nine inches over a summer. Then I was walking in a park lot and run over by a car and they said I'd never be normal. And this is what has restored me. And now at 60, the x-ray of my spine, I don't have any disc degeneration. I don't have any bones wore off. And the one thing I wanted to say is, you know, even though we can increase flexibility right away, so your muscles get loose. The other thing that this does, this improves our joint capsules. So that's where real mobility A lot of people talk about flexibility, but more people want to know about mobility and it's dealing with these joints. And so this is going to enhance your joint health and improve it, even if it's compromised now. Hey, fantastic. Well, Eileen, thanks so much for coming on the show and, you know, telling us all about your, your latest invention. (laughs) I love it. I recommend it to everybody. So everyone go check it out and get your, your back shaper system at creatrixsolutions.com or spinalfitness.com. So everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Dr. Wendy Myers and bringing you all the latest tools and tricks that you can use to upgrade your health because you deserve to feel good. The Myers Detox Podcast is created and hosted by Wendy Myers. This podcast is for information purposes only. Statements and views expressed on this podcast are not medical advice. This podcast, including Wendy Myers and the producers, disclaim responsibility for any possible adverse effects from the use of information contained herein. Opinions of guests are their own, and this podcast does not endorse or accept responsibility for statements made by guests. This podcast does not make any representations or warranties about guest qualifications or credibility. Individuals on this podcast may have direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to herein. If you think you have a medical problem, consult a licensed physician. 